What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 2, Episode 2. Episode 2 starts with Tiffany living life as Jennifer Tilly in Beverly Hills. She wakes up to find the Tiffany doll's head from the van in her bed covered in blood, which I, I would say kind of teases that Andy lived. She has Nika with her and makes breakfast in bed for Nika. Tiffany decides she wants to speak to Chucky and makes Nika become the side of Chucky living inside her. Tiffany asks Chucky what the head is about and Chucky says he's going to kill Tiffany and those kids. Of course, he's referring to Lexi, Devin, and Jake. So we then re-catch up with those, those trio of characters, Jake, Lexi, and Devin, who meet Nadine during a service at Incarnate Lord. She asks what they are in for and reveals she is, she is Catholic but can't take communion till she makes her confession to Father. Lexi notices Trevor, that kid she mentioned bullying her at the end of the last episode. She notices Trevor during the communion. The three of them are forced to turn in their cell phones. Father Bryce introduces himself to the kids. The box from the end of episode one is, of course, indeed revealed to be a Chucky doll that the sisters plan to use for a toy drive. Lexi is put in a room with Nadine, who has a bedwetting problem. Father Bryce tells Devin and Jake to not fraternize with the girls. Of course, he's unaware of the fact that he doesn't have to worry about that. Nadine tells Lexi that she is pretty and doesn't need makeup. Lexi says she doesn't plan on being an incarnate lord very long. Father Bryce is shown taking Devin and Jake to their room and tells them to get ready for class. We then jump back to Lexi, who seems intimidated by Trevor, but confronts him in the hall for what he did to her back in the day. He calls her by her full name, Alexandra. Lexi mocks him for having one testicle. <laughs> Trevor mocks her, mocks her for what happened with Chucky and her friends last year. And then we jump to in, in class and in class scene. The kids are discussing sin and how complicated it can be and the path to redemption. Jake asks if there are any unforgivable sins, but the sister jokes by saying she hopes not because she'd be in trouble. In another room with another nun named Sister Elizabeth, the Chucky doll falls off the table and Elizabeth picks it up. It falls again, so the nun decides to ignore it, but the doll is gone shortly after. Chucky jumps up on the desk and yells boo, causing her to have a heart attack. Chucky says, hi, I'm Chucky, want to pray, before snapping a picture of the nun's body. Now, of course, this death was a homage and nod to the colonel's death in Child's Play 3. So we then jump to after the authorities have arrived to pick up the body. Lexi, Devin, and Jake notice Chucky in the room, and Chucky flips them off, similar to how he did in the hospital in season one. Father Bryce tells everyone that Elizabeth was called home. Sister Elizabeth was called home. Devin, Lexi, and Jake contemplate what they should do with Chucky now around. Jake blames himself for what has happened because of him buying the doll at that yard sale all that time ago. Father Bryce tells the kids to go to study hall and stop standing around. Tiffany is shown in Beverly Hills watching Liar, Liar, and Nika reminds her that she's not Jennifer Tilly. This is a fun little meta scene. Nika reveals she knows Tiffany blew $100 million of Jennifer's savings. The two argue about their circumstances, and Nika screams for help when the doorbell rings, so Tiffany gags her. Tiffany answers the door, and it's a detective looking for a missing person named Nika Pierce, who we know is inside of Tiffany's home. Uh, Nika Pierce, who escaped the mental asylum she was locked in. Tiffany answers but decides to slam the door in the detective's face. Jake asks Father Bryce to go to the restroom so he can look for Chucky. Jake goes to the office where Elizabeth died to find the Chucky doll. Bryce catches Jake swearing at Chucky and decides to have a meeting with him to remind him that he's lost but can choose to be a son of God again. He's given or he gives Jake a Bible to read so he can start working on himself and leaves him alone with the Chucky doll. Jake tries to talk to the doll and Chucky escapes after taking a pic of Jake. Father Bryce comes back and asks where the doll is, but Jake says he doesn't know, so Bryce lets him leave. Jake tells Lexi and Devin that Chucky took his picture. They wonder about they wonder about why Chucky isn't trying to kill them at the moment because, yeah, he's just going around taking pictures. You'll find out why. At night, Lexi asks Nadine to help her move the dresser in front of the door because she doesn't want Chucky to get in, but Lexi lies and says it's because she sleepwalks. Later in the night, Lexi takes drugs and Chucky gets a picture of her doing it. Nadine wakes up and screams with Lexi when they spot Chucky in their room. Chucky runs out of the room after they start screaming. The nuns and Father Bryce come in their room and Lexi says she was scared of never seeing her old bathroom again. But it was just a cold so Devin and Jake can go check the bathroom for Chucky. Jake kicks in the stalls and doesn't see Chucky but he jumps on top of Jake from behind and tries to kill him. Devin ends up stopping Chucky. Devin asks Chucky why he's doing this and Chucky says he won't tell them before spitting on him. The next day they show Lexi that they tied him up. 
They realize that this Chucky doll is collecting information for someone, which explains why he only takes pics and doesn't kill him. Tiffany takes Nika to a room and gags her while she answers the door, but it's the detective again who says things aren't adding up. In the room with Nika, it's revealed Nika is having some sort of mental warfare with a piece of Chucky inside of her, I guess, and she's working with him to get back at Tiffany. The detective says he thinks Nika is inside her house and she invites the detective inside. She ends up slitting his throat upon entry. Tiffany realizes she has more guests, so she cleans up the dead body's mess, but Glenn and Glinda catch her. The episode ends there after that. So the episode ends with Glenn and Glinda walking in. You see them pull up in their car with the they, them license plate. And then they come into the house and they catch Tiffany cleaning up this pool of blood from the detective's body they just killed. Uh, so that's one interesting plot thread that you will see further fleshed out in a later episode coming soon. And with the whole concept of Jake and Lexi and Devin and what's going on with Chucky, Chucky, the doll that's at the school at the moment, is taking pictures because it seems that he is, again, collecting information for someone. So the problem is, who is it for? That's the thing that I still don't know. That's the thing that I was saying would be like a mystery this time around you get a name of this possible person next week but it still doesn't tell you who that is and you'll see what i mean when the episode airs next week episode three is a pretty fun episode episode two i would say was just as good if not maybe slightly better than the first episode uh you got to meet trevor see a little bit more about him he i would say is kind of a reference and nod to the character of sheldon who we know is also a bully at a school setting that Chucky's already been at military school so I liked all the nods here to Child's Play 3 in this episode I liked how they're planting seeds to get ready to dive back into some answers you'll have from C to Chucky of what's happened after C to Chucky all of this stuff is coming in these next couple of weeks but let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts I'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video